Welcome back to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. My name is Ian, and today I've got this stunning brand new 2022 Royal Enfield Classic 350 to show you. This is in the chrome red colorway, so it's a great combination of that red and chrome with the gold striping to divide it. I think it looks very nice. So this video is going to be a general overview. We're going to highlight some uh, specifications, features, and at the end talk about some of the accessories we offer for the classics as well. So don't forget to like this video. Please consider subscribing so then you stay in the loop and you always are informed about all the new bikes, cars, and accessories we have to offer here at Alpha Cars. But now, let's dive into this classic. To start, let's talk about Royal Enfield's warranty on the new classics. It's a three year unlimited mileage warranty. So just let that sink in for one second. Imagine how many miles, uh, how much riding you can do in three years. <laughs> and that's all gonna be worry free uh, because you're gonna have an active factory warranty. Now these bikes, they're so well designed, so well built. The fit and finish, as we'll see on this classic, it really speaks for itself. Uh, these bikes are really European quality and we sell hundreds of these a year and we see uh, little to none come back for warranty concerns or issues. I personally can't think of the last time we had one in. So Royal Enfield just really standing behind their product and that's really something that is unmatched uh, with some other motor motorcycle manufacturers where maybe at most you'll get a two year warranty. So like I said, three year unlimited mileage factory warranty. So very, very exciting. Now let's talk about some specifications. Let's start with that engine. So it's a 349cc single overhead cam, single cylinder. It is fuel injected. So if I come around to this side, we have a bit of a cover, a side cover here to add to the aesthetic, but behind there we do have a throttle body and a fuel injector. So very nice modern fuel injection system. The fueling on these bikes, very dialed in. The cold starts are great. Uh, I've got my gloves and hat on. It's only around 35 degrees today in New England. And I'm going to show you in just a few minutes uh, this bike a cold start, uh, proving, proving what I just said. So this uh, engine produces 20 horsepower, 19.9 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and, it, and it is mated with a five-speed gearbox. So you can see our shifter down here. And it's air and oil cooled. So we have these nice fins on the cylinder, aiding and keeping the engine at a safe operating temperature. Now, Royal Enfield claims uh, 89 miles to the gallon, and then with a 3.4 gallon fuel tank, I mean, just look at that fuel tank, it's really a work of art. But with 3.4 gallons uh, of capacity, you're not gonna have that many fuel stops. You're not gonna be worrying about finding a fuel stop. Um, you're really gonna maximize your smiles per gallon. Now this bike has a 430 pound uh, wet weight. So the wet weight of a motorcycle is ready to ride full of fluids like brake fluid, oil, gas, etc. So that's the actual weight um, you want to know because that's what you're gonna be riding and maneuvering um, you know, in a parking lot or putting your feet down at a stop sign. Um, that's what you're actually gonna be experiencing. Talking about the suspension, we have preload adjustable shocks in the rear. So if you want to take a passenger or uh, have some luggage on the bike, then you can uh, account for that with the preload. Uh, we have an 18 inch spoked wheel in the back and a 19 inch spoked wheel in the front. Very, very nice. And 6.7 inches of ground clearance. So plenty of ground clearance if you gotta go over a speed bump um, or you're on like a rough road. Now getting to the brakes. Uh, standard ABS front and rear. The disc in the front is uh, 300 millimeters and it has a two piston caliper. We can see it is drilled as well and it's a floating design. And our rear brake is a 270 millimeter disc, uh, single piston caliper. Once again, that uh, floating design and it's drilled. So, very high quality parts. Uh, brakes are very grabby. They stop this machine with that relatively light weight um, with no problems. And now before I throw a leg over this classic and show you the dash and controls, let me show you behind these beautiful side covers. 
Uh, they both have a lock on them. And all we do is insert the key, give a quarter turn, and this one will hinge down. And we have our battery, some various fuses. We have our battery tender lead uh, that we install on all the bikes we sell here at Alpha Cars. And hidden in there, um, we're not really hidden, but you can see it <laughs> tucked in there, I should say, as well as the factory toolkit. So now if we close that back up, let's go around the other side and open this side cover. Once again, we have a key slot right here. All we gotta do is give a quarter turn and this will fold down. And we have a nice little storage area for some uh, various documents like your registration. And we have our owner's manual as well. So that's a very cool item. And then uh, in behind here is the air filter. So closing that back up, I'm gonna put the key back in the dash. And then let's talk about the center stand here. Uh, it comes as standard on the Classic, which is an awesome feature, because unfortunately a lot of motorcycles nowadays, um, even a lot of motorcycles that are much more expensive than this Classic, they don't come with center stands uh, much anymore. So it's hundreds of dollars to buy one and have it installed. And center stands are great because it, it gets the motorcycle standing straight up very securely, makes it easy to do any sort of maintenance, um, even, you know, basic maintenance like uh, cleaning and lubricating your chain. Uh, and it makes it so it's you're able to do it in a safe manner. Also storing the bike, it stores it, you know, straight up, as I mentioned, not leaned over. So you're going to save space when storing it uh, as well. And now with the classic on the side stand, Let's check out this seat. You can see the contour in it. It's very comfortable. We also have a pillion seat on the back with a little grab handle. We also have these handles on the sides of the bike. And we'll get into it in a few minutes, but we do have some accessories like a backrest um, for your passenger as well, if you wanted to fit that. But let me throw a leg over it and stand it up. And we can see I'm flat footed with a slight bend in the knee. Now I do have a little bit of height on my side. I am 5'11", um, so there is that to, to factor in. But now looking at the left side, just a very comfortable place to be. Um, you know, we have our, our shifter for that five speed gearbox on the left, and then our rear brake on the right, standard motorcycle setup. Looking at the dash and controls, we have our clutch, which is a nice light pull. Um, it engages very, very easily, very easy clutch to modulate. I personally ride with two fingers. Um, I pull the clutch with two fingers and it, it does not tire me out. Uh, we have our low beam, which is always on high beam, and then our flash to pass uh, all combined in the same switch. We have our blinkers, which are not self canceling. So just make sure to cancel those out our horn. And then we have a button on the back where usually you would think the flash to pass would be, um, but that is for our multifunction dashboard for the trip. Um, so I will show you that in one second. And then on the throttle side, uh, pretty standard. We have our throttle, front brake, and then we have our kill, run, and start switch all in one. And the Classic does have uh, hazards as standard, which is really cool. Another feature a lot of, you know, once again, maybe more expensive bikes uh, don't come with, and it's a really nice, safe feature to have. So you do have to turn the key on, and then turn them on, and then you can turn the key back off, and they'll stay on. So that's very nice, very safe feature. Now let me turn the dash back on. You can see it does its nice gauge sweep and self-check. Checking out our fuel gauge, an uh, awesome feature that I, I love on modern motorcycles. You don't have to look in the tank every once in a while or go by mileage or, or guess <laughs> how much fuel you have. And if I hit our button here that I had just mentioned, we can see we'll go between our clock, our odometer, our trip one and trip two. There's a trip F as well. And then if we uh, press and hold on the respective trip, then it resets that back to zero. So all very nice. Now let's start it up and hear that 350 roar to life. Bike's cold, as I mentioned before, and it is cold out. Just such an impressive, uh, you know, fueling that Royal Enfield has dialed in that you know maybe some other manufacturers with their fuel injection um, the cold starts might be a bit hiccupy or not start the first time um, I've personally experienced that before 
So these bikes are just really in a class of their own um, when it comes to that. Checking out our dash, we can see we're in neutral. That ABS light will stay on until you roll forward a few feet because the uh, ABS sensors need to get a signal to do a self check. So that will clear out once you start rolling. That is completely normal. Let me give this just a couple small revs for you. So I really like the sound of that 350. It has a nice growl right from the factory. And as I said before, uh, it's very evident the first thing you notice when riding a motorcycle is how the throttle response is, the, the fueling, how the fueling is tuned on the engine map. And these are just really, really dialed in. And we have this nice Royal Enfield uh, kind of nameplate here. If you were to option these with the uh, tripper navigation uh, that links with your phone, um, that would go there, but this one was not optioned with it um, as it's, it's not standard for this year. So that's just something to know as well. So now I'm gonna hop off our classic here and let's give some final comments and talk about some accessories. The classic's back on the center stand so we can admire it once again. Let's talk about some accessories we offer here right at Alpha Cars. Uh, I'll have a link in the description and something pop up in this video for you to click on where you can check out our online store. So we have a rear luggage rack available, various windshields, uh, whether you just want something smaller to just deflect the bugs or something bigger for um, you know more wind deflection, we have those to offer. Uh, various engine protection bars. Uh, so once again, we have discrete offerings and then also bigger ones. So if unfortunately your classic did tip over, let's say, um, then you're less likely to damage you know, a vital component. It's really you know cheap insurance to protect your investment. We also have things like an H4 LED bulb for the headlight to increase the light output. And as I mentioned before, uh, backrest kit for the passenger. So all that will be available uh, on our online store linked in this video, as I have just mentioned. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you're more informed about the classic and whether you were thinking about buying one or just bought one and just wanna learn more. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like on this video, consider subscribing, this has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough location, and until next time.